Hello, everybody. Welcome back again to the Tableside with Firebride channel. I am Lauren, and this is my favorite pink cup. And today, in today's episode, I hope you guys ain't tired of seeing this awesome cookbook because I'm not tired of cooking through it. <laughs> but today, we will be making a full meal from the Betty Crocker Good and Easy Cookbook. You guys, I love this cookbook. Everything I've made from it thus far has been amazing. Even things that haven't been in a video. I love it. If you guys come across it, I would strongly suggest that you get it. This would be a cookbook that I would honestly just still keep in my collection. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, you guys want to hang out as I make a beverage, dinner, and a dessert? That'd be great. We can hang out, have fun, all that good stuff. But anyway, yeah, let's do this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be working on the beverage. We will be making the pineapple limeade. And I got my, my pretty pink <laughs> pitcher, we're ready to go. <laughs> anyway, this is very straightforward. Um, I am cutting the recipe in half because it kind of, with how sweet it looks like it's going to be, and we're just cutting it all in half. So as I normally do, but to your pitcher, oh my, <laughs> but to your pitcher, I'm going to add in my pineapple juice, which this is just a cup and a half of pineapple juice. Oh, it smells so good. I love pineapple juice. A quarter cup of, oh, no, not lemon, lime. It's lime juice. <laughs> quarter cup of lime juice. I, I just cheated. I just used the bottle. Lime juice. <laughs> and then we're going to add a quarter cup of sugar. Sugar, sugar. <laughs> anyway, then we're going to get a whisk and then we're just going to mix it until the sugar dissolves and then we're going to put it in the fridge until we're ready to complete the step. So yeah. And we are back. It is now almost five o'clock. It's time to start getting dinner going for tonight. I'll be making the easy stroganoff meatballs, which I love stroganoff. So I saw this recipe. I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. Yes, we got to do it. <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get dinner going. Then we can move on to dessert. All right. So first step for getting dinner going, uh, the recipe said to add like beef broth and all the other wet ingredients into a mixing bowl. I'm not going to do that because I don't feel like dirty in another dish. So in my slightly bigger measuring cup, I have a cup and a quarter of beef broth, which is like the instant broth. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour to my little measuring cup. And and then I'm going to add two tablespoons of uh, W sauce. I'm not even going to try to, <laughs> I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but wash your sister sauce, divorce your horse sauce or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> and then you just mix it up as best as you can. And then we're going to add this to a skillet. And we will do that in just a second. So I'll be right back. All right, so I got my sauce mixture ready to go. I'm gonna pour this into my skillet. I'm gonna take a four ounce can of mushrooms that have been drained. I'm gonna add it to that. 
And the recipe was very specific as far as saying that I needed 16 <laughs> meatballs, but I'm a grown lady and I'm going to do what I want. So I added more <laughs> to this. So, but we're going to pour that in there. And just kind of give this like a quick stir. Then this has to be brought to a boil, then simmered for about, was like six to eight minutes. And as this is simmering, I'm going to add in, I'm sorry, I'm not going to add in, but I have a pot of boiling water, like right here. I'm going to boil some noodles to kind of complete this meal, and then we'll be right back. All right, so I almost led you guys down the path of wrongness <laughs> with the stroganoff. You actually have to let it simmer for about like four to six minutes, just enough to heat up the meatballs. But yeah, so about four to six minutes, I was confusing the meatball stroganoff stuff with the pasta that I was boiling to try to time it together. So yeah, that's little... <laughs> Little tidbit for you. All right, so now that this is done, I'm gonna add in half a cup of sour cream and then give that a good mix. Then I'm gonna drain the pasta and then we are good to go and dinner is ready. All right, so now for the fun part of this video, the fun part of this dinner is dessert. So for dessert tonight, I'll be making the pineapple caramel sundaes. So first thing is first, we're going to go ahead and start working on the sauce. So yeah, let me readjust you and we'll do this. All right. So in your small saucepan, you're going to add in a half cup of caramel ice cream topping. This is the, was it like the Hershey's? caramel topping. And then to that, we are going to add a eight ounce can of crushed pineapple. So my store didn't have crushed pineapple and the eight ounces. So I just got a big, was it the big can of the chunks, put it through a food processor and drained it to the best that I could. And just did that. Gotta do what you gotta do. And then you just mix this up, heat it through, and we will be back with the next step after this is heated. All right, so we have our little angel food cake bowls. We're going to get some ice cream. And whoop, put that there. Then we're going to top it with that pineapple caramel sauce and y'all, <laughs> this looks really stinking good. Eh. All right. All right, now we're gonna take that caramel pineapple sauce and just, there we go. Oh yeah. That actually looks pretty fancy to be honest. There we go. All right, now let's go ahead and put these on the table. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and start making our beverages. This has been chilling in the fridge for a few hours. So I got these cute little glasses and I'm going to pour, I don't know, like half, but we're going to just pour some in and then top it with some sparkling water. I'm, at this point, I'm just kind of guessing the recipe just... The original recipe was like, oh, add sparkling water to the container, but it's like, you know, we'll just, not sure if that's something that I would like, but anyway, I'm assuming tonic water is the same as sparkling water. I don't know. I don't normally drink that type of stuff. 
So we're going to I hope this is good. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll go ahead and start plating up dinner and getting all that together. All right, we are back. We have dinner on the table. So this is like a completely new angle for you guys. You yes. guys are literally at the table with us. So darling <laughs> tonight i made like a quick easy stroganoff a caramel pineapple sundae mm. and a pine was a pineapple limeade mm. for dinner so you ready to pray and we'll go ahead and start eating yes okay. lord thank you for getting us through another day for providing for us and we pray that you bless the food and our time together in jesus name amen, amen. all right Meatballs are a nice addition. Um, I'm still kind of on the fence. Hmm. Like, I mean, because as you know, like, I love stroganoff. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would say that this would be, like, my go-to quick, like, middle of the week mm -hmm. stroganoff. Can you hand me a napkin, please? Mm -hmm. Like, it's not bad. It's just not... What's the word? It's not bad, but it's not necessarily, like, the best either. It doesn't blow you away. No. Um. Again. Like, this was extremely easy. Extremely quick to make. So I absolutely appreciate and give points to that. I don't know if it's maybe the meatballs. Like, I like meatballs, like frozen meatballs, but they have to be in a particular thing for me to like them. Um, I think that it's okay. I, I personally would not, I personally wouldn't put this in my recipe binder unless if it's something that you would want for lunch, then it would just be under Us Brand's lunch, like, chapter. Right. But... That's pretty much as far as that would go if it was to go into our recipe binder. Yeah, I would say that like this is another way to have stroganoff as far as I'm concerned. I like it well enough to want to have it again, um, but it'd be one of those things where I would say it's like it would change depending on like it's particularly the meat and the seasonings would be depending on what mood I'm in. You know, that's more where it's at for me. Because it can be like, okay, I want stroganoff, but I'm in a steak mood. Or I'm in a uh, you know, mm -hmm. ground sausage mood or a meatball mood. So it's it's very it's a variant sort of thing rather than um, you know, preferring one over the other for me. I'm curious to try this limeade. Personally, as of right now. My favorite stroganoff is the one from the Better Homes and Gardens cookbook, which I already have a video on my channel with that. That is a very good one. Um, I There is a mock stroganoff mm -hmm. that I used to make a while back. That was actually my favorite. That is very Between good. if we're comparing like easy middle of the week, mm -hmm. quick meals, I would actually prefer... The mock stroganoff compared to this. Mm -hmm. No, like it's not to it's not bad enough to where I'm like, oh gross, I I don't want to eat it eat it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like it's good, I could finish it, but I personally wouldn't make so, it. So since I had a sip of the limeade, my comments on this is that um, I like it. I like the uh, flavors, the the citrus flavors are definitely there, and it's oh. not. For me, it's not overpowering anyway. Oh! Of course, I also sipped. I didn't. Oh! I didn't toss it back. That's bitter. Oh gosh. I don't taste that way. Oh crap! It's like oh gosh. Oh. Ugh. It's like if you were to eat it's like the white part of an orange. Like if you just get a bite of that as you're like eating your orange. Like, that bitterness? Oh, God. That's not what I taste at all. Well. 
I sure did. Well, and like I said, I didn't toss it back. I've taken sips. Well, that might that might define the experience as well. Um, the tonic water also does add. Um, it doesn't look like it, but it does have a, a fizzy texture to yeah, it. Yeah, it does give it like a slight spritzer. Yeah. Kind of feel. Let me try sipping it. <laughs> like a lady. My pinky out. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna go ahead and try this. I was thinking the same thing. I don't want to make our audience wait for yeah. us to get to that. But get to the dessert! Yeah, so that's the next thing to comment on. Like, look at that. It looks so fancy. It looks very good. Alright, let's see how good it is. I like that. Go. I like that. Yeah, this was good. Um, because my caramel sauce leaked over to one side, I, I tasted a lot of ice cream in the cake, but not much of the pineapple. I feel like the little cake's a bit dry. Mm -hmm. But besides that, this is very good. I like this. I don't think I would use the dessert cups again. Mm -hmm. Well, these ones are just dry. Maybe I just bought some that were, I don't know. But I think maybe next time I would like to get an actual angel food cake. Mm -hmm. Because I love angel food cake. Yeah. I think that would be a great substitute. So. Yeah, I think that would work out very well. So, what are your thoughts on everything? So, final verdict on everything for me. I like the stroganoff. And like I said, for me, it's more of a preference thing. Like, what mood am I in rather than to preferring one over the other. So, for me, the stroganoff is has bread fruit. Um, I also like this beverage here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because our tastes are different. It might have been how much is, you know, if there was some sort of settling that happened in the juice or whatever. But I like this. I wouldn't mind having it again, actually. <laughs> It'd probably be pulling teeth to be able to get me to make it again, but no. I can follow recipes, too. Okay. Well, the cookbook's over there, sir. Whenever you're ready, it's there for you. It was on page 11 or 12. Okay. And then <laughs> the dessert is an absolute home run. Oh, I mean, yeah. I know I know that the, that the cake was dry. That can easily be remedied with. Yeah, a different cake. Yeah, something else to have as a base. It's the combining of all those things that are, are really nice, and I would... Definitely love to have that again. So, my verdict on everything is I really like it, and I would like to have it again. I'd say just about everything since we're in a fruit. <laughs> so, as far as what the wife thinks, the dessert was great. I would make that again. The stroganoff was great. Well, it wasn't great. That was going to be a habit to say. Anyway, the stroganoff was okay. Not my favorite. I personally wouldn't make it again, and again unless he wants it. For work lunch, which that's not a big deal. The drink sucked. The, like, whenever you first initially taste it and it goes down, it's like, man, that's actually a pretty good, you know, lemony, uh, like, pineapple, lime, citrus drink. And then whenever you're done, it slaps you and it's mean. And I don't like that. <laughs> so, yeah. That's all I have to say. Those are my thoughts. Those are my sweet. Do you have anything else to say? Are those are those your thoughts? They are my thoughts. Okay. Please do. Because <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> but anyway, you guys are awesome. Thanks for coming over and having dinner with us. Yeah. And yeah, you guys are awesome. Make sure to like. 
comment and subscribe and show the world the awesome new channel that you guys found and you know all that fun stuff yeah come hang out with us <laughs> but anyway you guys have a good one bye